In today's video, I'm going to share a few recent car spotting experiences, none of which were good. I see Apex sticker on the rear. Oh my god, is that a Yotahachi? Is that a rusty Yotahachi next to it? G'day everyone, this is Daniel O'Grady. Hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoyed that little clip. I almost had a heart attack, to be honest. Oh my god. Anyway, I've got three little uh, episodes, stories I want to share with you today of car spotting and angry people, or people who are really not interested in my enjoyment in car spotting or your enjoyment in seeing interesting cars from Japan. Three tales of woe. And the first car I want to share with you is this B11 Nissan Sunny Turbo Le Prix, a three-door car. Engine is a 1.5 liter turbo, fuel injected, and as I said, the first of this generation I have ever seen. So I was doing a little bit of morning walking, and I saw it, I thought, hey, is that a Nissan Pulsar? Around the front, it had that little look about it, but it wasn't, obviously. And I managed to get like five or six or seven photos and then the owner of the business, of which the, this was in the car park of course, he rocked up and he was not happy. And I, at first I just went, I get it, I'm, I'm leaving, I'll go. And then I thought, you know what, I just want to come clean. I went back and I said, look mate, I take photos of rusty crappy cars, it's a hobby of mine. And he said, and he was angry. He, he didn't want to make eye contact with me at first. He was, uh, whatever. Anyway, he said, look, this is private property. Don't take it upon yourself to do that. Get out. And that was it. So I had to leave and uh, I wanted to get video footage of the car, but that's the best I could do. And I'm actually, feel I feel lucky he didn't say delete the photos. It was pretty serious stuff. And now to the next car. And I did see a photo of this car posted on Facebook by someone who lives in Kumamoto. And I saw it, I was super excited. This is a mega rare Isuzu Bellet. Less than 350 of these were built. Special fastback version, mega rare. I chased one through the mountains a few years ago. That was the only time I had ever seen one before. Mega, mega rare. So I jump in the car, I head down south for a couple of hours and I find the place. I park the car at a nearby convenience store. I just wander over. No one's around, knock on the front door, someone's eh, hey, excuse me. And his, this, the mechanic's wife comes out, and uh, we're both looking for the guy, the mechanic. He's in a car, hiding like a ninja. He pops his head up, we all have a laugh. And uh, I said, oh, excuse me, um, I'm, my hobby is taking photos of rare and unusual rusty cars, whatever. And I got grilled. Who am I? How did I know about this place? Where was my car parked? Who was the person? And I said, oh, yeah, well, just someone I know. And this is their name. And I showed the name on Facebook. Said, I don't know that person. And I got just grilled. And he was refusing to let me. And I thought, look, after literally five minutes, I went, look, I get it. I understand. Thank you. And as I'm leaving, he's watching me like a hawk as I'm leaving the property. And I said, and I gesture, look, just one. And he goes, okay. So, and I, and I took two photos. <laughs> but this, this is what I'm dealing with, people. Okay, time for the third car, the third and final car. And it is the car closest to my heart. I mean, I love Holden's. Though this car technically is an Isuzu Statesman DeVille. They imported, what, a couple of hundred of them back in 1973 or whatever. And I did do a video of this car you know, reasonably thoroughly. I didn't get to see the interior or the engine, but this time, you know, like a year later or two years later, I went down again, like, uh, I went down to Kagoshima, sorry, overnight. So I got to drive in all the back streets because I'm too busted ass to, you know, pay for the highway. Anyway, so about halfway or three quarters down, I park the car at some stop. I freeze my ass off and I'm sleeping and I wake up early and I drive the rest of the way. And I get to the shopping center where this car is at. I get a few sneaky photos here and there, and then I thought, you know what, I've just come all this way. I wonder what information I can find out about this car. Things that I would like to know, like, uh, when did they get this car? Is it a one owner car? These are things that some people might know, the manager might know. Anyway, so, and you know, this took a bit of courage, you know, because I just know I'm gonna be crushed. 
But anyway, I said, excuse me, can I speak to someone about this car? And I got put onto another person. And their response was, oh, we have many other cars if you would like to, can, if you would like to buy another car, we have lots of other cars. And I'm thinking, what, what, are you, what are you talking about? Look, I just want information about the car. I'm from Australia. I've come a really long way. And they just looked, the two, two people just looked at each other and refused to answer any question. And now my ultimate question for them, which I didn't ask, is why, why the secrecy? Why, why can you not just share some information? I just, just did my head in. And I think the only explanation I have is, uh, let's look at um, how much do Americans love freedom? And this is not bashing Americans, but, you know, there's sort of some caricature, like, they just love freedom so much, right? It's the most precious thing to them, you know? Like, I mean, it's important to me too. But the Japanese sort of love their privacy to sort of that same extent, you know? That they, they, just, they just love it and they, they're not willing to share even uh, the sight of something that's in plain view. And one thing that uh, I could uh, relate to is the number plate. I mean, something that we all can see. It's in the front of a car, it's on the back of a car. But if you take a photo of it, or if you put it on social media, you are the devil. It does my head in, it really, really does. Bang. Oh, okay, and as I wrap this up, I'm gonna share with you some other recent car spotting, much more pleasant car spotting because no one was around. No one was there to say, what are you doing? to deny me taking some photos of stuff that I could see with my own eyes. Damn, it's frustrating. But anyway, enjoy this wonderful Toyota Celica. Now, question of the day is, who is the gatekeeper? Have you had a run-in with a gatekeeper? Cock blocker is another term, of course. Let me know in the comments below. And also, do drop by wasabicars.com. I made that website, I'm super proud of it. You can find lots of other cars. And everyone, thank you so much. Take it easy and goodbye.